is Imagination Station here at WT11 Your Day. And Sarah Neff has some cool science that you can do during your Thanksgiving Day dinner. Yes. After all the turkeys been eaten and all the fun's been had, right. we need to impress our family members, don't we? So what do you have for exactly. us? Exactly. So I was thinking that maybe we could do some tabletop experiments with things that you're going to have lying around after dinner. Okay. Empty bottles of wine. Right. Possibly. After, after a day with your family. Right. Okay. Um, so. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our wine bottle, and I also gave you a piece of rope or string. <clears throat> About the length of a shoelace, a little shorter. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to fold that in half. And now stuff that into the top of your wine bottle. Now what's going to happen is when we invert the wine bottle, you should be able to um, have your string hang freely. So it's actually going to get stuck inside the bottle. Okay. When you invert it. Are you ready? Yes. All right. One, two, three. So flip it over, give your string a little tug. Hmm. I don't think yours works. Try it again. You set me up here? <clears throat> no. I hope so. All right, so go ahead and flip it over again. Hmm. You're setting me up, I see that look again. Are you sure? Yeah. What do we need here? All right, so I maybe did trick you a little bit. <laughs> okay, good. In the name of science. Just making sure I wasn't screwing it up. What you didn't see in my bottle is I have a little tiny ball of uh, aluminum foil. So I did not see that. I'm going to give you a piece. Well, I'll, I'll just give you mine. Okay. And I'm going to wad another one up, and you can put that inside your bottle. Yep. So now go ahead and put your string in again. Try All now. All right. Yep, now try. I'll try again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So see, when it's you fun get... when science is supposed to work, because it, so you... it always works eventually. <laughs> So get your string in there, Okay. and then when you flip it over, that foil ball is going to fall towards the neck. Okay. So when you pull on your string... It acts as kind of like a stopper. Right. So give that a little tug. See, I think that we pulled it out and it tightened up the foil. It sure did. It's kind of a one-shot deal, so it, it did. you might want to practice this one behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, I saw it work, though. <laughs> At first it did, for sure. So it. what you're doing is you're creating friction. So go. when you Got pull, it. there you go. So when you pull that foil, um, it's creating friction between the foil and the bottle, and that holds your string in place. So then you can actually dangle okay. your wine bottle. One of the forces you, that is represented in science is right. friction. Right. Very cool. Okay. So let's set those aside. Now this is another one about friction again, but this one is the opposite. So instead of creating friction, we're going to take it away. Okay. All right. So I've got a playing card and a quarter. This is good for your nieces and nephews. So go ahead and put out two fingers. There you go. And you can balance this on top. All right. Now you can tell your nieces and nephews they can keep that quarter mm -hmm. if they can get the card out without touching the quarter. Without touching the quarter. Right. Okay. So should I <laughs> give it a try? Sure. Be quick. You were pretty close. So I will show you the trick. All right. So are you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's all right, I brought extra quarters. Okay. All right, you ready? Oh, I brought another extra quarter. It's all right, we got, we got, it's okay. we got quarters everywhere. Here, let me see if I can get it. Okay. So I'll balance mine on here, you ready? Yep. Oh, no. So you have to have a steady. You do. It's a little nerve wracking on TV. Oh, it's I'd okay. So. so what's gonna happen is if you flick your card just right, it's gonna send your card flying out from under the quarter. Ah. Because you believe if it all else friction. fails, you could play euchre or something, too. There, I got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and the camera was on, I hope. I, I hope believe. so, too. Okay. Well, there you go. Practice the trick, and it will work. So that was the opposite effect of friction there, too. Right. We were reducing it. Okay. You so got, You got one more for us. All right, I do. This is our big grand finale. So we've got this elaborate-looking contraption set up. We've got three glasses of water. On top, we have set a pie pan, and we've got three toilet paper tubes mm -hmm. and three raw eggs. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you are going to drop those eggs into these glasses of water Okay. by touching nothing but the pie pan. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the chop and stop method. Okay. So you want to have a nice flat hand. You're going to line up here, <clears throat> draw back your hand, and you're going to whack this pan super hard to send it flying over there across the studio. Okay. All right. Clear the, clear yeah. the way here. All right. Are you ready? This one is a one chance effort, correct? Right, because those are raw eggs. Even if I mess it up, we're still going to learn a little bit about <laughs> science, right? Right, so don't okay. be afraid. Do you want me to count down for you? Uh, yes. Okay, so three, two, one. Ta-da! So, one out of 
three. We did get one. So what happened was when you knocked that pan out of the way, our egg was pulled straight down by gravity into the glass of water and did not break. And you caught that one. And I caught the other one. Before gravity hit <laughs> on the ground. Before gravity took it the <laughs> other way. Very cool. Well, what are you guys going to be getting into uh, coming up here to the holiday season? You guys are already going to be into the holiday mood. We are. We have our holiday kickoff weekend starting Saturday. So you'll actually see us in the parade downtown. After that, we are bringing Santa, Buzz, Woody, and Jesse and heading back to the Science Center. Um, you can bring your family in to meet them. You can get your pictures taken. It's first come, first serve, so make sure you get there early. Make sure you get in line for a picture. Like the sound of that. Yeah, and they'll be there on Sunday, too. All righty. Sounds good. So a weekend full of fun with you guys. Look at this. We made a little bit of a mess <laughs> in the studio. Really Science need is a about having fun and making a mess, too. <laughs> so Sarah Neff, always in here helping us learn and uh, figuring out what's fun and exciting. All right, speaking of the imagination, stay